Hello and welcome to the WordPress series. This is the fourth session in the series and this is about setting up a theme. In this session, we are going to look at what is a theme, essential elements of layout, selecting a theme, what is a null theme, installing and activating a theme, creating a child theme in the backend, that is the cPanel of your website. So what is a theme? A theme is basically the layout of your website. What are the essential elements of layout? Logo that gives an identity to your website. So a logo is a very important part of your website. Favicon. Favicon is what you see in the browser tab next to the site title or the page title in the browser window in the title bar color the color combination of your website is very important to showcase and form relativity with your audience typography again plays a vital role in connecting and displaying your intent behind the work you are doing on your website if it is comic related if it is childish if it is business related if it is playful for hobbies all these factors govern the typography of your website menu where all do you want to have the menus and how many menus do you want to have a primary menu a secondary menu a menu in the footer section and so on and so forth so entirely depends on your wish how many menus and where all do you want images images again form relativity with your audience so images are vital whether you want to have illustrations only or you want to have real life pictures which are not made up next is the buttons with how many aspects is the button designed with rounded corners or with sharp corners or is it square if it is rectangular what kind of border should it have or a hover on effect and the colors that are used on buttons padding that is the spacing between the content and boundary around it with visible or invisible borders on your web page spacing is the space between different rows or cells or elements so there is a difference between padding and spacing which we will see once we start creating the web page widgets these are very powerful components which can help in effectively using the space on your web page where do you place a specific widget and how effectively it is used that all helps to define the overall layout of your web page so the web page layout what are the basic components first is the navigation menu the header body footer footer menu and sidebar so sidebar whether you want to have a left sidebar or a right sidebar do you want to have sidebar on a page and post as well or only on the posts not on the page these are the essential components of a web page layout next is the theme for your niche so what essentially are you wanting to do on your website whether it is a blogging site or meant for education purpose e-commerce or it is a simply a forum for sharing information such as news or discussion forum or chatting so whatever be the niche your website layout would depend on that what are nulled themes these are the themes which are available for download free of cost but are not legal these themes are vulnerable to malware so they could be infected with a virus or a trojan a trojan could have a keylogger or a logic bomb inside it and uh, 
could also have other kinds of malware so it is not advisable to have a nulled theme on your website always use a theme that is legally available for free if you are looking for a free theme so for installing and activating a theme on your site you need to search for the theme on wordpress repository select the theme whether it is a paid theme free theme or a freemium theme whatever theme you decide on activate it and customize it for the layout as per your requirements child theme what is a child theme a child theme is basically a replica of the primary theme that you have activated on your site it helps to do customization for the layout on your site whatever addition or modification you would like to do to the existing code of the theme you can do that from the child theme it overrides the existing layout of the primary theme and how do you create a child theme is by creating a folder by the theme name hyphen child and in that you create a style.css file and then you copy the files of the primary theme that needs to be modified so we will look into all of this practically in a while theme you need to select a theme then activate the theme and then create the child theme so let's get started here is the website admin area and i have already logged into my admin account from here you need to go to appearance themes as you can see i have the 2019 theme active i also have the 2017 and 2016 theme installed but not active because you can have multiple themes installed but there can be only one theme active at any given point of time so i need to go to add new search for the theme that you want this is a theme that i have chosen you can go to the popular section and see for the themes for yourself whichever you would like how do you check a theme now suppose i have a theme any random theme let's say one press just click on details and preview here you will be able to see the theme description many themes provide you with the live preview on a separate url so just copy the url and visit that url in a new tab to see what it would actually look like if you install it on your site obviously depending on the content that you would have but this will give you a vague idea of the layout that you can get on your site using this specific theme so this is what one press looks like and similarly you can check other themes as well so i have chosen septera this again you can click on details and preview so this is giving you a wake layout it is a free responsive theme for business and personal websites with premium features and amazing customization options so if you want to see the demo again you can just copy the url that has been provided and check it out now what i will do is install and activate because i have decided on this so i am going to click on activate if you are not sure if you want to activate that theme or not after installing you can go to the live preview option you click on live preview so i'm doing the live preview for 2019 because i've activated septera let's go back whatever theme you install you can click on live preview and see before activating it here is the theme that i wanted and i have activated septera now what you need to do is go to the plugins add new elementor now elementor page builder 
is a plugin which is widely used for creating web pages. You can use any of the base themes and use this plugin for designing your web pages. So I am installing this now and activate. Here is an introduction for the Elementor plugin which we will skip for now. Now when you visit your site you will see that the default or the dummy images and layout has been used for your home page here. Now I do not have any pages and posts created as of now. This is a kind of chicken and egg story with a theme and the initial content on your site. What to do first? Whether to add the content or to install the theme. So we have already installed the theme that we wanted and a plugin also. Now this says that the this theme recommends the following plugins. Try out Serious Slider. Let's see if it is a free plugin. We can install this. Alright, so this has been installed. But you need to activate it as well. So we will go to the plugins area and activate it. Next, we will set up the child theme. And for setting up the child theme, we will have to go to the cPanel. In the cPanel, I have already logged into my cPanel account. And I am here at the domain folder where we had installed WordPress. So under the domain folder, we have the content of the WordPress. Here under WP content, open the folder. You will see there are folders for themes and plugins and upgrade and uploads we'll go to the themes folder these are the folders for all of the themes that are installed on your site whether they are active or not add a new folder septera hyphen child create new folder okay then we go to the septera child folder within this create a file name it as style.css select the file go to edit it's an empty file we will have to add some code this is the code for the child theme where we are importing the style.css from the primary theme so as you can see the starting few lines are basically comments within the CSS file and these comments specify the theme name, theme URI, description, author, author URI, template that is if there is any base template and version. So using all of these we are basically telling the WordPress software that this is a child theme. The most important part here is at the rate import URL. So what are you trying to import here is within the child style.css file we are trying to import the style.css file of the base theme. So we give it a command to import URL from Septera slash style dot css because the base theme name is septera so septera forward slash style dot css this is the file that we are trying to import within the child theme and save changes and that's about it you only have to create a style dot css with these many lines of code for the initial setup as of now, we have not done any modifications to the existing code. We have only created a child theme which is replicating the base theme layout. As we move on forward to adding content and customizing it, we will make changes as and when required. So our child theme has been created. 
so in this session we looked at selecting and activating a theme on the website from the wordpress repository then we created a child theme in the back end in the next session we are going to add pages and posts and media that is the content on our website and we will customize the layout as required so that's about this session thank you very much